In the final game before the All-Star break, the Bourne Braves get a big win, 8-1 to the final over the Katoa Kettleers. Hello and welcome to Post Game Tomahawk Talk. I'm Adam Gacken alongside Cam Manna and Nathan Schwartz. And Cam, an offensive explosion today, two home runs hit. And the home runs were first for Braden Holcomb and Blake Barthel. Holcomb, it was only a matter of time at the 6'5", 257 frame, what he does during batting practice. And Barthel, what he did at Coastal Carolina. It was only a matter of time. Also got to give credit to Mason Deville, his first hit of the summer. So a lot of firsts for the Braves. And the first time they take down the Cats, first time they're back at 500 since June 16th. So the offense exploded once again. And they've done that a lot this week. Harwich, a few nights back. Another game with double-digit hits. And the pitching, once again, phenomenal. This pitching staff has proved to be one of, if not the best in the league. And today, they were just as good as they've been in the past. Ethan McElvain does it again. He goes another four innings, only giving up one hit on, or excuse me, one run on five hits. And then Griffin Hugus, all that confidence stemming from that standoff win two weeks ago. He goes another three scoreless innings. No hits allowed for Hugus either. And then John Abraham, Johnny A, those final two innings, five strikeouts. You can't get much better than that from this born pitching staff. You really can. And Cam, you said it, this team playing its best baseball right now, back to 500 for the first time since game two of the season and going into the All-Star break. This is exactly how you want to see this team playing. And we talked about it. Heading into All-Star weekend, all you could ask right now is this team now back at 500 12 8 and 1 in the month of July they're playing some of their best baseball you just touched on it maybe the best pitching staff right now also maybe the hottest offense they get to honor seven all-stars tomorrow a really cool time here for Cape Cod you just hope right now that the all-star weekend it's going to give the Braves rest but they have to come out firing next week Falmouth still right behind you going to be six games left you go to Orleans on Monday so even with this hot start all that matters is next week. You want to play your best baseball in the final week of the regular season. Without a doubt. Well, well coming up, we have an interview with one of the Bravos All-Stars, the player of the game, Braden Holcomb. Adam Gotkin here with Braden Holcomb after Bourne's 8-1 win over Katuit. Braden, you hit your first home run of the season tonight. Take me through that at-bat and your reaction when you see it go over the fence. Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to be on time for the heater and um, catch it out in front and uh, honestly just do some damage, um, and it worked out. So. Uh, hit that ball backside pretty well, so and uh, worked out. So before that home run, you had a pretty productive day at the plate. RBI single, a sack fly. What's been working so well for you this game? Yeah, I mean it's just it's just being confident up there and uh, knowing the situation. Like my first at bat, when our second third is putting the ball in the outfield and uh, doing doing what's best for the team, having team at bats. So um, the whole team's really coming together right now. I feel like uh, a lot of hits. Everybody's hitting, pitching well, so it's good. And another great performance from the pitching staff tonight, just one run given up. What does that do for your guys' confidence at the plate when you know game in, game out, that your pitching is going to be really good? Yeah, I mean, it just takes – it's a big sigh of relief for us because uh, we're able to just not put it – sorry, bug in my eye. Uh, we're not – we don't have to stress to uh, put too many uh, runs up on the board because we know we got good pitching behind us who's going to keep the, keep the score low. So. And you're a starter in tomorrow's All-Star game. How excited are you for that, and what's an honor like that mean to you? Yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be a good. It's gonna be a good fun day. So I, I'm gonna have a few of my teammates with me. So we're we're looking forward to it. So really, really blessed for this opportunity. So. All right. Well, thank you very much, Brandon. Yeah,